I'm Alana Leffler. I lead our retail marketing for the America's Retail Services platform, and I'm very excited to introduce you to Omer Golan, who is the CEO and founder of OuterNets, which is a data and marketing platform. How are you, Omer? Okay, thank you for having me. Yeah, how's everything going for you today? It's really busy. Uh, yeah, a lot of people came here in a very short time. Definitely. Is this your first time at Recon? First time yeah, at Recon? first time. Not the last. First but not the last, it's so true. Well, I hope that you've been finding your day so far here beneficial for, um, for your platform. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your technology? So we created a material that allows us to digitize and monetize stores, specifically storefront windows, whether they are empty or they are occupied. The material looks like that. You can cut it into different shapes, apply it to any regular glass, and it becomes a full HD screen. What's unique about our screen is that it's looking back at you and it understands everything about you from your age, your gender, your mood, your uh, style of clothing um, and, your, and, and brands that you carry on you. That allows us to respond to, to that information in real time. Mm -hmm. So for example, if my five-year-old daughter Zoe, she passes by one of our McDonald's locations, she would see a Happy Meal advertisement because she's pink and five. Right. Um, my wife, um, I'm just generalizing, she's a bit skinny, she might see something about salads, mm -hmm. and you know, I would probably see a pile of burgers. <laughs> so the wow, platform... Wow, so, so you have this um, marketing slogan, digital gets physical, and it sounds like that's a prime example. Yeah, the idea is really to converge this physical media, the, this glass, this glass uh, surfaces, with online conversion tools and, and metrics, so it would be accountable uh, to, to, the, to the performance. You know, visual merchandisers who are in, in charge of designing the storefront windows, they, no one expects them to generate revenue mm -hmm. or to generate traction for the store. They look at it as, oh, it's a nice design. But we see the storefront window as your homepage online. Yeah. This is the first place that people see your content. They have to make a split-second decision on whether they're, whether they're going to come in or they're moving on. Online, they have the luxury of five seconds at right. least to, until someone decided they're not interested, they'll move to another website. Up in the street, you have a split second and you need to really get them to stop in their place and give you attention. If you can't do that, you're losing a client. Right. So it seems like in addition to this great technology and the material that your company has been able to create, you also really have to make sure that the content is something that's engaging, exciting, that's going to catch people's attention. Content is very, very important. Uh, we have to make sure that people care about what they see. So the first thing would be showing them something that they care about. So if I go to the department store, I would not see dresses and high heels, but I would see a guy my age, my size, wearing something similar to my style that I like, uh, that I might be more interested in, in viewing. The second would be having this message be interactive and, and conversive rather than dictated. Um, I think of your product and I would say, uh, this is my product, smile if you'd like to learn more. And when you smile, you move on with the menu and, <laughs> and you can create open-end experiences like that okay. and, and push to news, right? When you go into the store or go out of the store, it can tell you, hey, how did we do? Give it a thumbs up if you're, if you're satisfied with the service that you got. Wow. Um, and last but not least, you can connect the mobile to the display to be able to do um, more accurate interaction. So all you don't need to download an app or to install anything on your phone. All you have to do is aim your camera to the window and you have a little pop-up comes up. When you click it, you are now in control of the display. So when I do it, I use it for gaming or for shopping. So think literally window shopping. You can browse the content publicly when everyone can see the inventory orders on the storefront window. But when you add to cart, it stays private, it stays on your phone. No one needs to know your size, your, your taste, right. and, and so on. And you can uh, you can also continue the experience on the subway or at home. So it's really a part of omni-channel experience where people start the experience at the storefront window, the first place where they, they met your brand, but they continue it uh, inside, outside, at home, or, or, or on the road. Well, that's incredible. So you know where they're going to start their experience, but you don't know where it's going to end. And it gives them the luxury of having that that time to do it and to play around with whatever the content is that you're offering and that's really neat so you're all, you're you're really working with retailers but you're also working with developers and owners right of course uh, I think that one of the advantages that we have when we supply our system to to owners and, and property managers is that we are able to first of all report not just people count but give them full uh, profile of demographics and understand who's on their street 
um, and that in turn will help them shorten the time that it takes them to lease. Besides having a beautiful presentation of the property and a point of contact where people can can take uh, virtual tours of the store without having to come in and set up an appointment, right. and if they actually liked it and they, they use the app to to set up a meeting with the broker, they already have seen it. They already have some ideas about what they want and if they like it, they just want to test and see it for the with you know with their own eyes. Right. And uh, and of course, it can democratize the the whole process of choosing what's going to be in that vacant store. I have um, three pharmacies in our block and zero delis. Um, and if I had a vacant store there that would ask me, hey, Omer, what would you like to see here? Give us the thumbs up if you want to see a deli. I would be all like that. And, wow. and now the landlord can go to a deli owner and say 5,000 people last week voted that there would be a deli here and maybe you should open a, a location. That's fascinating. So we can use this data, or, or I should say owners or, or store owners can use this data to see what customers in that neighborhood or in that space are looking for within that block. Give them, give them much higher value and, and it really helps the people in the neighborhood. Yeah. I, I don't need another pharmacy in my block, <laughs> <laughs> but I can really use a deli. So if we're able to democratize this process and help people have some kind of um, influence in what they're going to see around them, I think it's going to be, uh, it will lead to higher, um, to higher, to better results and better conversion rates. Well, thank you so much for sharing a little bit more about your data and marketing platform, Omar. I feel like I've learned a lot, and I'm sure everybody else who's, who's been able to tune in has learned a lot. And if you want to learn more, you can go to outernets.co, right, to learn more. And we're also here at the booth. Um, if, you're, if you're interested, come on by, and Omar can give you a real-time example of how Outernets works. Thanks, everyone.